So just to be sensitive to those who are here already, I think uh, it's only fair that we go ahead and get started. Once again, thank you so much for coming to our webinar today called BSBI has announced the expansion of its programs portfolio. And this is the first series to a multiple series that we're going to be holding over the course of this month. Uh, just to give you a brief for those of you who are here and wondering how come suddenly BSBI decided that we're going to have some new programs. Well, on the 25th of August, BSBI launched five new programs in partnership with UniNetuno, and we've been in partnership with them from 2018, along with our other two partner universities. Now, the five programs that we have are BSc in Psychology, MA Logistics, MA in Energy Management, MSc in Psychology, and MSc in Engineering Management. Now, the main reason why we launch these programs is basically to bridge the gap that's probably there um, with the new global challenges that are presenting itself, especially in energy, logistics, and engineering management. We also really want our students to have opportunities for the kind of jobs that are out there right now. And uh, we're providing a quality education so that we can equip our students in order to be ready for the uh, workforce. We also have a bachelor's and master's, as I said, in psychology, which only means that BSBI is opening up for more courses in social sciences. So I think it's quite safe to assume that it's just the beginning of many such programs in the social sciences field, and I'm super excited about it because that's the background that I come from. But today, what we're going to be talking about is just the MA Logistics, the MA in Engineering Management, and the MSc in Engineering Management. And to help me bring clarity to these three programs, I have two extremely special guests with me, and I'm so honored that they're here as panelists and so i just want to take some time to introduce them to you i'm going to start with dr mariam mansuri who is the head of postgraduate studies dba supervisor and scientific journal associate editor dr mansuri is a phd holder in irrigation and drainage her desire to research and learn more drew her to do the global mba masters program and now on top of everything that she's already got she holds an ma in global mba dr mariam is passionate about research and is an active member of various research groups along with research she's also very passionate about teaching and i think dr mariam what a great way to share your learnings that you get through your research through the form of teaching. Now, she's been teaching various courses related to irrigation and other subjects like mathematics in different universities. Now, audience, you would think that research and teaching would take up all of Dr. Mariam's time, right? No, but she has written and published 20 scientific articles in journals. Dr. Mariam, there's so much to learn from you inside and outside the classroom. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Hello everyone, I'm very happy, I'm very excited uh, to being with you today and thank you so much Sangeeta for <laughs> giving a, uh, introducing me and I'm very happy that we are launching this um, engineering and energy management uh, program that uh, we need actually this program nowadays and uh, we will go through it uh, during the webinar. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right. We also have with us Dr. Farshad Badi. Uh, Dr. Farshad, am I saying your name properly? Okay. <laughs> he is a lecturer and postdoctoral center coordinator and scientific journal associate editor. Dr. Farshad holds a PhD in human centered communication and informatics. He also has an MSc in software IT. Dr. Farshad has been in the field of education for more than 20 years now and has worn many hats from being a teacher and tutor to a research assistant, to a lecturer, to a scientific consultant, and to currently being the associate lecturer and supervisor at a school of computing. Dr. Farshad, thank you so much for showing us that with consistency and hard work, we're able to climb the career ladder and grow in our spaces of work. 
Dr. Farshad is an editorial board member and reviewer for several journals and helps in organizing conferences and workshops around the world. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Farshad. So lovely to have you with us here. You're on mute. We can't hear you. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it and uh, it's actually my pleasure to be with you and I'm very happy to be invited by you and of course it's great to uh, be uh, a member of these new programs, especially the Master of Arts in Logistics. Very Absolutely. great and appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Farshad. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm a regular on these webinars. But if you haven't watched our webinars, my name is Sangeeta George, and I am the head of student support. And what we do and my department does is we help students from all over the world to get to Berlin, to get to BSBI safely. So I will put my email address down later. So if there's any questions or concerns or any support that you need, I'm happy to be helping you. I come from a, a career counseling background. So I've been a career counselor for more than 17 years. So it's super exciting when I'm seeing some of these new programs and what a great opportunity to talk to such well-educated and uh, and uh, professors who are coming with so much experience. So I'm super excited about this as much as Dr. Mariam and Dr. Parshad. So audience, what we're gonna be doing today is we're just, uh, here's the agenda really quickly. We're gonna go through these three programs uh, just to give you a little bit of information. We've also put a PowerPoint together that I hope for all of you visual learners, if you're not listening to what we're saying, at least you're able to read what's on the screen. All right, so we're gonna start with the MA in uh, Logistics with Dr. Farshad. So Dr. Farshad, can you briefly give us a gist of what this course is about? And can you highlight some of the key factors of this program? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first of all, I can tell you that logistics is really a very important topic in the future. Uh, it can be analyzed as a, a child of supply chain management and also operations management and in other side informatics. But what I can mention here is that this program is going to tell us how to construct professional profiles for ourselves for the future to possess managerial skills, strategical skills, and accordingly to be able to support our own operational and project management scenarios in different supply chain management and logistics, in fact, uh, programs and strategical, in fact, stories. And the second point is that we all need to learn how to think about the dynamic concepts of transportation, distribution, storing, and retrieving. These four concepts are the four concepts in logistics program, transporting, distributing, storing, and retrieving, and how we can strategically, analytically, and scientifically deal with them. But as a final word, I can tell you that logistics is concerned with all aspects of operations management from the side of quality change management, risk management, and supply chain management. And these are all the key factors in this program. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if you look at job vacancies now around the world, there's so many in logistics and supply chain management. So it's so, it's really wonderful and very, very recent and up to date with regards to what we're offering students. Um, how do you think this course is relevant today, Dr. Farshad? And what kind of career opportunities does it open up for students after they graduate? Absolutely. Actually, uh, we have a special focus on this point that in the modern world, uh, especially in the high tech and the digital world, we all need to be able to construct some kind of scientific platform for ourselves in order to manage supply chain and logistics, first of all then we need to be able to control the productivity as well as the efficiency and effectivity of different operational scenarios in our, in fact, uh, companies and organizations. The next one, we need to be able 
to manage and supervise how different resources are in fact managed, acquired, stored, and transported to the final destination successfully from the very first level until the very end level, from the supplier of supplier of supplier until the customer of customer of customer. We need to be able to identify some great distributors for ourselves, some great suppliers for ourselves, and determine their own level of effectiveness and accessibility. This is the other concept. And also, we need to be concerned with coordination of storing and transportational processes in our supply chain. Also, we need to oversee the future. And we need to fo focus on inventories, in fact, by arranging appropriate transportational activities and adequate storage for our inventory stories. And finally, as the last one, we need to be able to maintain, improve, and expand our operational networks for selling different goods and services. But what this program will give us as for the, actually for the final carrier programs, we will have uh, a strong backbone for all these abilities, whatever I mentioned, and for shaping our own professional careers in different organizations with a strong understanding of economical and in fact, business oriented marketing aspects in the world. Right, absolutely. Do you wanna uh, quickly touch upon, and did you just talk about the kind of career opportunities that'll be there? So it just opens what you're trying to say is with the kind of skills that they learn, they have a whole array of the kind of jobs that they can get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct? Actually, uh, it will be many jobs in different organizations, right. in different or, uh, companies as a manager of logistics, as a manager of project scenarios, operational manager, logistics manager from the transportation part or from the storing or from the retrieval part, and also many other data-oriented aspects like a data scientist who is specialized in uh, operational scenarios uh, right. in many organizations and companies we really need these people and this is the future of the needs yeah 100 percent. yes uh, do you want to highlight or just talk about a few modules that are part of this course yeah in this program we have four types of modules the first module types are mathematical and analytical modules, like operations research, operational research, and numerical method, when students learn how to mathematically and statistically think. The second types of modules are operations and project management modules like project management, quality management, and logistics and project support. The third group of courses are business and marketing modules, like business organization and marketing. And the last one is economic modules, when they are working on economic and business management, as well as on business uh, economics of innovation. So these, in fact, uh, quadruple mathematical modules, operational modules, business modules, and economic modules give you a very good insight to students. I love this because normally students will choose either like statistics or they'll choose either business or they'll choose economics. Here's an opportunity for them to learn all of it, right? Exactly. Which really opens up their doors to not only just logistics and supply chain, but any kind of job in the business world. I think exactly. that's wonderful. Yeah, I love these courses. I almost want to do this course, Dr. Fajrad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, what kind of uh, 21st century skills do you think students will be able to gain through this course, Dr. Fajrad? Yeah, very nice. Actually, uh, they will learn how to use different economic and managerial tools and skills can come to help them to support corporations in different phases of different operational scenarios, first of all. So this yes. connection between economics, between managerial aspects of, and business-oriented aspects, and real 
in fact, pragmatic scenarios in the operations and uh, project management scenario. This is the first one. The second one, they will lear learn how to build some supportive supply chains for themselves and detect different problems in different operational progresses and then how to understand the quality of a product. So this is a movement from supply chain management to quality analysis. This is another need in 21st century. The third so, one is they will learn how to go for understanding, for identification, for modeling, for designing, for analyzing, and for, in fact, critical understanding of different deliveries to go for uh, connection to the customers. So yeah. in different layers, how to, ca to get connected to the customers. Also, they will learn how to have a manufacturing-based analysis in the framework of supply chains. These four are the very important, in fact, areas of operations management in 21st century. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, Thank you. What is the duration of the course and, and what's the delivery structure? Yeah, this is uh, like other master's programs. This is a two-year actually master's program and students will have written assignments uh, or uh, assignments for each module actually and we they will also have a final dissertation and this is uh, they also have some uh, maybe exams for some of the courses for the final in fact assessment uh, this is the general which is uh, similar to many other programs right and uh, do you want to quickly touch upon the eligibility criteria? Who's eligible yeah, they, to apply? Yeah, yeah, they hold a three years bachelor's degree from a good university or from a co good college. And if they don't have a bachelor's degree, but have another academic qualifications like uh, HND or a level five diploma or professional experience, they are absolutely welcome to apply. All right. And how soon can they apply? This they can apply for... Year? Yes, for 2023, they can start for the intakes of February, May, and October. Great. All right. So, students, if you're out there, you're thinking that you want to join us uh, next year sometime, next year, 2023, is when the MA Logistics is going to be offered. So, really think about it. Get in touch with us if you need more information about any, uh, particularly this program. Okay. Thank All you. right. Uh, anything else you wanted to add, Dr. Farshad? Just, uh, I am very happy and I am very proud to say that this program is being, in fact, launched under the, uh, in fact, uh, Berlin School of Business and Innovation. This is the future and this is where data science, informatics and operations management are meeting each other. And this is a right. management program that students will have a very good statistical and mathematical observation as well. This yes. is great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Farshad. Dr. Mariam, we're going to move to you uh, to the MSc in Engineering Management. Are you okay if we start with that one first? Sure. All right. Awesome. So I'll go through this question. <laughs> What's that? Engineering Management. Engineering Management. Yes, MSc in Engineering Management. Okay. So, uh, do you just want to give us a brief or for the students to know what this course is about and can you highlight some of the key factors and benefits of this program, please? Um, this uh, MSc Engineering Management course is aimed primarily at science and technology graduates who wants to develop advanced skills and uh, pursue a management career in engineering, manufacturing, or commercial enterprise. It's also well suited to experienced engineers looking for professional recognition and further academic knowledge. The course will um, support the progression of engineers of all disciplines to management roles in both private and public sectors. Students can follow either the specialization in project management or in logistic, total quality management and supply chain management, or they can go for sustainability and energy management. On uh, this uh, MSc engineering management, the students will strengthen their skills and expertise 
so they can respond effectively to innovation across the engineering sectors and they will uh, study management and engineering by focusing on the ways that disciplines can uh, relate to each other and learn to bridge the communication gap between these uh, engineers and managers. Actually, they will uh, be there to fill this gap and the managerial side, they will look at them like supply chain and uh, strategic management and combines this with engineering topics, including uh, system ability. Uh, by combining, uh, combining both aspects, they will make themselves appealing to a broader range of senior roles in um, engineering and beyond, and they will work uh, alongside experts lecturers and, uh, and a truly international group of uh, flow students as they learn drawing on live engineering sectors issue from case study and collaborating organization and can further specialize through a final project that they will do exploring and uh, engineering challenges that matters to them. And they will graduate after that will the, uh, with the demonstrable ability to take their next step in their career in design, product system, or other any engineering rules. And this uh, postgraduate degree makes use of common engineering principle and will help them to apply for a, let's say, real world business practice. I think that's amazing. I'm always telling students now how blessed they are that they have these combination courses. At least when I went to college, which is very long ago, we either had to do engineering or we had to do management. Exactly. And here's a course that you can do like both together, which I think is so amazing. And I always tell students, make use of that opportunity because you gain so many more skills by doing, you know, combination courses like this. So, of course, you've talked a little bit about the relevancy of it today, and I completely understand that. Um, but can you talk about specific jobs that might be there and career opportunities that are out there for students? Yeah, as we know, the global demand for postgraduate engineers with the management expertise has grown rapidly nowadays. And this right. MSc engineering management course uh, will provide an alternative uh, or uh, to the traditional management or MBA degree. Let's say that it's MBA plus, it's something further than uh, normal uh, MBA that we have nowadays. And these okay. master degrees in engineering management will help them to prepare for um, several jobs that needs management, construction, and technical design skills. And the position for those having master degree uh, in uh, this engineering management are known as the master of engineering management jobs and uh, who pursue a master degree in this will learn both sides of uh, leadership ability and engineering. Therefore, they can go for uh, working in two different directions and um, will be uh, able to prepare for advanced engineering position and also for managerial responsibility in the engineering industry or um, let's say that um, lot, um, ar um, architecture or constructions, or they will be able to handle the management and development issue faced by senior and also mid-level engineers and uh, management. And uh, this includes structure and organization, planning, managing resources, reviewing, evaluating service, and understanding national and international context of management system. Position for those having this master degree in engineering management are known as a master of engineering management jobs normally. Absolutely. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, can you highlight a few modules that are a part of this course, uh, Dr. Mariam? Um, in uh, this uh, program, we have three different specializations, and according to choosing um, which specialization or which pathway, they will attend to different modules. For oh, example, okay. they can follow uh, the um, choose either the project management, they can choose the logistic, total quality management, and supply chain management, or they can go for sustainability and uh, engineering management. According to um, this 
three specialization they will um, choose they will have different modules for example they will learn more about project management numerical method and corporate finance in project management pathway but yes. if we go uh, for logistic total quality management and supply chain management they will learn more about modeling for manufacturing system and logistic and organizational dynamics and behavior but if they go for choosing the sustainability and energy management of course they will learn more about management of energy system production planning controlling and uh, digital innovation absolutely okay so will that degree say um engine what will it say like will it say an M ma or msc in engineering management or will it be specific to whatever uh, course that they take the name of the will be MSc in engineering, uh, engineering management. management and the specialization, just like the global MBA that we have uh, four different yeah. pathways. Now they will have three different pathways in this. Uh, Perfect. Program. Sounds good. But okay. uh, the difference between global MBA and this will be the in global MBA they will choose the pathway at the last uh, um, term, but now yeah. they will be choosing at the first beginning. In the, in the beginning itself okay yeah. makes sense um what kind of uh, 21st century skills do you think students will be able to gain you kind of touched on it but if you can just highlight uh some of the 21st century skills because i think that's what employers are looking for yeah you know because uh, they will uh, go through both management and engineering and leadership right. ability a master uh, degree in this uh, engineering management will be enable people to prepare for more advanced engineering position and uh, managerial responsibility in the industry uh, uh, or um, business like um, construction and they will be able to handle all the management and development issue that will be faced by you know, senior or mid-level uh, engineers and also managers and um, this uh, will uh, include structure and organization planning managing resources reviewing evaluating services all these parts they can go ahead for working uh, on this part in this okay awesome um what is the duration of the course dr mariam and what's the delivery structure uh, the duration of this program is 18 months or let's say that uh, one and a half year and uh, the master program has the duration that correspond to 90 ects uh, according to the ECTS cycle study system uh, that uh, they will be intensive to full-time study for this half an uh, half an hour years often one, <laughs> one and a half, half years, years. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, exactly equal to 180 uk credit and Good. they will uh, they can uh, according to the specialization they will go through different uh, way and uh, they will uh, attend to um, they will have eight academic modules and at the end they will do their research dissertation apart from the classical face-to-face -face teaching that we have in bsbi um, our team will deliver to them a create a uh, um, hybrid didactic model which combines teaching with uh, physical present and uh, synchronous e-learning teaching both didactic methods and conducted uh, at the same time and are also combined by uh, enriched learning environment via and um, a synchronous education uh, educational model that is developed in canvas educational platform they will have access to that and we will also offer them uh, as a two extra module for free study method at the first beginning to prepare them for um, study how to study how to do the research because uh, it's a little bit different that they will write assignment yes. at the end every module because of this reason we have to prepare them and at the end before starting their dissertation we will deliver them the um, research methodology to prepare them how to do the research how to start writing their dissertation and uh, they will have six months to do the research at the end and writing their dissertation 
and they will uh, receive a Uninetono master degree at the end. And uh, also, in addition, they will have, uh, they can attend to the German course for free. These are all the things that they, they will receive during the, this uh, study. The program. Yeah, I'm so glad you said research methodology and study methods, only because a lot of, uh, especially from some countries, we don't come from a background where we are trained how to do research, right? We do a lot of rote learning, and so then it's something that we need to learn. I remember when I went for my master's, I loved that course because I learned so much through how to do research, which you don't know, even just a simple thing of how to use a library and where to look, you know? So I'm so glad that you said that. I also see that you offer a German language course? Uh, exactly, it's for free for a student. Uh, it depends on uh, which level they are. They will, uh, We will register them to the A1, A2 or whatever they are and they will learn German during their uh, study and then after finishing their education, if they want to stay in Germany, they have yeah. this opportunity to go to the German Institute to work as a Engineering. Engineering. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Farshad, are you all offering the uh, German language course too? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. And uh, maybe I made a typo about the uh, length of the program. I said two years because yeah, uh, yeah. these programs are, yeah, yeah, I mean, two years of life, <laughs> of course. So, but it is finally uh, about one Did year you? and half. Yeah. Oh, one and a half. Okay, yours is also yeah. because I thought I was comp doing the comparison and I thought yours was two and uh, this was yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's one and a half absolutely. years, the like a novel union and a master's program. Yes, great. Absolutely. Okay, and with that, and you all do the study, the t uh, research methodology, all of these courses are uh, these absolutely. modules will be absolutely. offered to ME Logistics students also. Yeah, okay, great. Um, Dr. Mariam, what are the entry requirements? Is it the same as um? Yeah, exactly. It is the uh, same course. as other uh, other program that we are uh, delivering by Uninetono. But uh, let me explain a little bit for uh, those that they uh, they didn't know anything sure. about that. The program is suitable for all engineering professional, planner, senior, mid level manager working, or uh, um, or maybe they have some responsibility for the management of engineering, but they don't have any degree in that part. They are most welcome to be uh, to start in this program uh, because maybe they will come from different background at the first beginning we will start from very basic uh, information to bring them at the level that they will learn more about engineering and management and they can work uh, they can learn more in the other um, modules and other courses courses also yeah and uh, the intake uh, when can students start to apply for this course the first intake that will be uh, February 2023 means that you should start your application uh, just today. I think that it's also Yesterday. today is late and you Yesterday. have to start doing a, <laughs> preparing your application. Yeah, <laughs> because sure. it's just a few months and uh, you need time for applying for visa, registering visa. and everything. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So students, if you're thinking about it, don't think anymore. We've talked about the highlights of these courses, We've talked about MA Logistics, MSc in Engineering Management. If you are interested, lots more information on the website if you'd like to see, or you can send your questions over. And I'm sure Dr. Farshad and uh, Dr. Mariam would be happy. I'm answering on their behalf, but they'd be happy to take those questions for you. Okay. We'll quickly just move in, Dr. Mariam, if there, just so that I want to give some time to the audience if there are any questions to the MA in engineering management. Again, if you can just highlight or give us a gist about what, I mean, sorry, energy management. What is the MA in energy management about? Uh, if you can just highlight some of the key factors for us, please. Um, the master course of energy management is uh, to realizing a high uh, specializing course aimed at teaching a methodology for a rational use of energy based on energy saving, energy efficiency, and the course will deal with questions related to energy efficiency in the civil and industrial sector, energy certification and uh, energy efficiency improvement of buildings, new buildings or old buildings, and it deals with a rational use of energy. 
energy production based uh, and renewable resources and integrated storage system, the use of home automation aimed to energy saving. It will supply the competences on applicable laws and an energy free market. And the course objective is training professional profile capable of uh, operating in the energy industry being involved in processes of existing uh, energy resources management and in realizing a new highly efficient energy system and the course will meet the increasing demand of professional provide, uh, profile skills in this uh, field also in the light of community directives and national regulations promoting energy efficiency improvement and production of energy from uh, renewable resources and we know nowadays we really need this kind of uh, 100% uh, I was just thinking of all the different countries where they could have some energy managers seriously you know so including the country I come from so yeah great program um, do you just quickly just want to talk you've talked again about the relevancy of it but uh, do you want to specify on the career opportunities what kind of jobs can uh, students be looking at once they graduate and looking forward the energy market will be more complex and in the years to come, disruption, innovations, and regulation will give rise to numerous changes and which will completely reshape the way that energy market work nowadays. And the transformation of the global energy market will be at the heart of this development. In the Master of Energy Management, the student will learn about key global energy issue faced by decision makers and businesses across the globe and they will develop the tools to handle all these challenges. Actually, this master has been designed in order to provide the necessary knowledge and expertise to make energy certification of the building as well as skills that require to carry on a freelance activities in the field of energy efficiency uh, building design and in the in other hand energy improvement of uh, existing building in um, and uh, it's growing field of a study and uh, yeah. and uh, exciting career path and uh, approach uh, assessment and management of energy system will allow for successful economic and environment result and uh, energy manager strategically evaluate uh, energy use with a view to making changes which create a more efficient system therefore this program is perfect for those with a desire to pursue a career in the field of energy efficiency in civil and industrial sector and looking forward to being involved in process of the engineering resources management I can clearly see that you're very passionate about this because I saw your eyes light up when you're talking about it. So it's just like I've just been listening to you. I'm not even looking at the PowerPoint because I can see that, you know, your passion comes out through. So that's Actually, awesome. my background is a little bit about this module. And <laughs> yeah, I, this I know. <laughs> I love this program. <laughs> I know. I almost see you jump out of your seat when you talked about it. So I think that's quite awesome. Yeah, I, I I can feel it. I can really feel the, you know, how passionate you are about it. Uh, do you just want to highlight really quickly uh, the 21st century skills? Just specify two or three that maybe you have talked about it, but just in case they missed it, uh, some skills that they will learn. Yeah, the MA in uh, Energy Management has a holistic approach that will prepare a student for a variety of careers related to energy industry in the area of project management, trading, risk management, market business analysis, brokering, operations, and more. In other words, I can say that the program teaches the knowledge of engineers, business management, economics, law required for holistic understanding of management practice in the energy sector. As a graduate of this program, they have specialist knowledge of the technical principle of energy generation, disruption used as well as their economic, ecological, and the general legal framework in which they operate. 
Nice. So I think you've kind of touched on the modules that they'll be studying also, because there'll be some related to, uh, I don't know if there's related to energy. If I just, I'm just going to put that slide up. Do you just want to highlight two or three of these? Uh, 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 yeah, they will, they will go through learning about the basic of um, energetic, because when they are coming from different backgrounds, they need to learn something about the basic of energies. And then after having this knowledge, they will go through learning about the project management, energy certificate of the building. Right. By having the knowledge of this program, they, they can go for working as a freelance for giving the certificate to the buildings or going through the renewable energy, working in different sector. You know, the career of this program is uh, they can work as a freelance and also they can work in different company absolutely i see that there's an internship that you offer as part of the course yes okay uh, all right yeah. so, so for those who want uh, who are thinking you want to get some sort of work experience in this particular field there is an opportunity to do an yeah, internship actually, it's a course that they they um, we prepare them by offering this module to a reality they will not yes. just learn something in the internet or website or some presentation. They will go to reality to find the problem and finding solution for that. Absolutely. Uh, is there any difference from the other course that we talked about, the MSc in engineering management, uh, the duration, delivery structure, and eligibility criteria? Is it the same as the one no, that exactly we just? Exactly the same as that one. Yeah, we have the same period, we have the same uh, structure, we have the study methods, research methods, the German language for free. All these things will be the same. Same. So I think students, I think it's safe to say that all, through all three courses, it's the same duration, okay. uh, the delivery structure and the eligibility criteria, right? Because okay. they're all you needed to know. Okay. So just, I just want to give about 10 minutes if there are any questions that we can take. But uh, just uh, first of all, thank you both of you for sharing all of that information. I know it's, it's hard to bring it down to like two minutes to talk about an 18 month course, but you all did fantastic. Uh, but any words of wisdom or advice that you would like to leave with the students, Dr. Parshad, first you and then Dr. Mario. Uh, just, uh, okay, by the way, uh, this is, as I mentioned earlier, this program is making a kind of meeting between uh, analytics and, in fact, management, and this is absolutely important, and so I am open to any kind of question uh, from you, uh, everyone, uh, if I can help you or I can show you the way or I can actually support you for a better decision making, uh, I am here to help you. That would be awesome. Thank you, Dr. Fasha. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Mariam, any words of wisdom or advice for our students? Mm, just we are looking forward to seeing you here in BSVI to enjoy a really lovely and friendly environment and uh, yeah, Please apply as soon as possible because we are really would love to see you here with us. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, students, if there are any questions, we're happy to take them. I'm also going to put my email address down. Uh, if any of you have any questions that you would like to ask, I'm happy to take it. Uh, I'm just looking if there are any As of now, I don't see, wow, we have an audience that understood everything. You all have been so clear with everything that you all were saying. We have no, we have no questions right now. Um, but we'll give it a minute or two and then uh, just see if any questions come in. In the meantime, I'm just going to put my email address down. If any of you have any questions, I will uh, take the questions and then send it over to Dr. Farshad or Dr. Mariam based on what the question's about. Okay. Yeah. Okay, students, any questions?
All right, there are no questions. So uh, I think we can wrap it up right now. I just want to say thank you students and audience for being here from wherever you are. Know that you can uh, reach out to us. I have put my email address there and you can just write in and I will forward your email over to Dr. Farshad and Dr. Mariam. I hope you've understood the importance of doing some of these courses because these are the kind of job opportunities that are there around the world, not just in Berlin. All right. And what a great opportunity for you to go to Berlin and spend 18 months there. And you've heard from these well experienced well knowledgeable professors about the potential you have if you do any of these courses so please please think about it we're happy to brainstorm with you and help you through through that uh, decision making process dr farshad dr mariam thank you so much it's been so lovely having you uh, both here i'm super excited about these courses thank you for making it simple to understand and for showing us how much potential there is for these courses um, and i look forward to doing more webinars with both of you so thank you very much thank, thank, you. thank you very much thank you of very course. much all right okay everyone thank you once again for being here with us have a great great day and we hope to see you on campus very soon have a great great evening Bye-bye. Have a lovely day. Bye. Bye.